Hello and welcome to another episode of Lemur's Corner. I am Lemur and today we're going to be talking about how to do hidden storage units. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. Uh, the key here is guys is going to be stacking foundations is really what it's going to come down to. So as you can see I'm going to place my foundation, place a pillar in it. We're going to drop our first foundation, drop another pillar into that one, and then drop that baby down one more time in here. Hoop. Um, actually what I want to do is actually stack it and then place it. I apologize for that. So we're going to place our second pillar in here. Then we're going to put a pillar in here. We want you to lower, lower, lower. There we go. And then I should be able to get a, another foundation down lower. So really what you want to do is you want to get it two different. So you guys can see here. Now this is a third level down. This is the only way to do it with foundations. I'm going to show you another method after this one. So you guys can see that we've got as a third foundation down. This works with anything. It works best with stone over metal. However, uh, we're going to show you guys with metal once, and then we can kind of go ahead and talk about it afterwards. So just like in a normal PvP, you guys can go ahead and do it like this. And what you need to do is you're going to place your mortars and pestles. You guys can see there's like a little nub that sticks out of these. If I place it out, you can see it. There's a little nub. You want to place that right where the wall is and run it symmetrical with it. So pretty much we're going to run it right like this. There we go. And there you go. So that's in there. So then what we're going to do is we're going to place our little foundation over the top right here and right here. So there you guys go. You guys can see now you can access your mortar and pestle right here. There you guys go. You guys can see it's accessible. And then what we can do is we can slap a wall right over the top here. You can select which wall you want to place it on. It's going to be this one for me. And you can barely even see that thing's even there. And you can just see you can access it from both sides of the wall. Uh, if you guys use stone, you don't need this this metal wall. Stone has is fluffy enough that you can cover it on the edges. Only metal needs the wall to be placed there, so you guys have to place these in the middle. However, there is another way to do this, and that's what I wanted to show you guys also. So what we're going to do is we're going to place the wall here, and I'm going to kind of create a little... I don't even know how to describe it. We're going to make a little platform, I guess you would say. So technically what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this in here, I'm going to place a ceiling on here guys and then I'm going to place a well we're going to place a pillar but we want to place it where it's sticking through so instead of making it flat like we normally would how we place our pillars and we want them all nice and perfect we actually want this one imperfect so you guys can tell by those little squares again and you can see it up there that it's showing a little bit so what we're going to do is we're going to run and jump uh, the key is to run and then jump and I should be able to get up there I don't know why it's seeming so difficult I probably should just get a ramp or something and put it up there I don't think I have any ramps or ladders with me, so let me go ahead and grab one real quick here, guys. So hang on one second. All right, guys, we're back, and as you can tell, we've got ramps. So I'm going to go ahead and throw a ramp up here so we can get up to the top. Now, this is the ceiling method. This was the foundation method where you guys can hide stuff right there. You stacked your little mortar and pestle in the middle. There you guys go. You guys can see it's barely visible. Uh, it can take a pretty serious shot with a rocket and stuff. As long as it doesn't take out that exact wall, it should be hidden in there. You guys can hide some of your good stuff. This is the other method, and this one's going to be the same method as the other one. So what we're going to do is we're going to place another ceiling over here slightly off and then we're going to go ahead turn this baby right here just like this on the wall again this is going to be the same method as the other one just like that we'll place that there and then what you'll do is you'll actually use the top of this to place a second ceiling bam just like that and then that baby disappears um, technically you can place these guys wherever you want you guys can see i've got a second ceiling here and but here's the catch i can look through and see it and you can just see barely there's a tiny nub in there to where you can hide stuff. So now if you want to, oops, I apologize for hitting it. If you guys want to, you guys can place whatever you want in here. I can just go, yeah, I want to save this stuff. So let's just go ahead, transfer it in that mortar and pestle, and it's gone. And then technically, as I said, it's hidden in that ceiling. You can see it this way. Uh, one thing I do want to note, guys, is I forgot to mention this with the foundations. You don't want to place them in the middle. Reason being, unless you're placing ramps on the side. If you're going to do your, your ramp shielding, you should be fine. However, if you look from the other side, I'll show you guys, you can technically see the mortar and pestle underneath. So you kind of know it's there if, if you're looking for it, just as a heads up for you guys. So you've, no matter how big your base is, if you've got it on all foundations, you'll be able to see right through it. But 
that's it guys it's that easy to hide stuff to where people can't even find it you guys can place it wherever you want however you want you can place it just like this as I said this is the ceiling method where you can stick through those little ceilings just like we have and underneath our tutorial base here you just make your pillar and you do a double wall right on top of it or you guys can stack foundations and place them in there and technically if you wanted to yes you guys can place another foundation in here if you wanted to um, if I tore that other one up so let's go ahead and tear it up real quick just so you guys can see it you can technically place one here and one here. So if you still wanted to, it can still be stacked in there. And you guys can still access that mortar and pestle. So you can still do your triple foundations and everything in there. You don't have to do it just by one by one. But you guys can see how you guys build that stackable foundation. You can put it as many times as you want. You guys can do whatever you guys want with it. But I just wanted to show you guys a cool little method to hide your mortars and pestles in your walls so that people don't even know they exist in there. And you just know where they are in general. And then if you really wanted, uh, you could have uh, a crate right in front of it. So then someone never even knows it's there. Then you demolish the crate or, or something of that nature, a chair. You could stick a chair in front of it to try to hide it. There's different methods you guys can use to try to hide it. Dinosaurs work too. So I hope it gives you guys a good idea of what's happening and how you do it. But that's going to do it for this episode, guys. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. If you like the video, please leave a like for us. If you guys want to see any other videos, leave a comment down below. If you want to just make a mention of something or if you feel like I missed something, please let me know. And we'll do the best we can to explain it. But overall, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. And we'll see you guys on the next episode of Lemur's Corner.